G'day guys and welcome back to the Dead Boy Detectives. Uh, previously on we had the two douche dragons. Uh, they were doing some pretty horrible things to girls with uh, supposed naked pictures and drugs and whatnot. I think Edwin's starting to discover himself. He realizes he's got feelings for someone of the male persuasion, not Monty. Um, it's either Charles or the Cat King. Who knows at this point? David's still a pain in the ass. We had uh, Jenny's crazy stalker lady. Uh, uh, yeah. Also, interesting side note. Jenny, the actress that plays her, is actually... Uh, what is her? What is her name again? It's Brianna... I don't even know how to say the last name. It's Brianna Coco Kyoko. It Kaylee's Coco's fucking the sister. Penny from the Big Bang Theory. However you say their last name. Apparently they're sisters. I didn't know that until I was like, who are these actresses like putting the actor's name to the characters' faces? I actually Googled them and I was like, oh. I didn't know she was Penny's sister, you know, Kaylee's sister. So that's an interesting note, but yeah, we had uh, Jenny's secret admirer went full on psycho, and that's it. Things are picking up. We're in the later half of the season now. This is episode six. So there's only eight episodes in the season, so things are obviously picking up. Still no word from the night nurse on whether she's alive or dead yet, uh, but other than that, there's been no death shown up yet to get them no one else from the lost and found section has come to get them and i still think there weren't any cats counted last episode i don't believe so i still think we're up to 142 but other than that i think that's about it it was a great episode last week i really enjoyed it before we get on to the next episode though we'll read out some comments that i got um from that video so we'll start with uh, Stephen Jump, who says, I love that scene with Twitchy Richie. Um, yeah, that's the one where they were in the science lab and, he, and they full just went like, uh, I was going to say scary movie, <laughs> but, but like, yeah, they, uh, they ghosted him and they threw him around the room a little bit as a bit of a prank, but also very serious. Um, it's a very terrifying situation for Twitchy Richie, but it was funny all the same, at least from our point of view. Uh, poor Monty S is already laying the groundwork to blame him if her plan doesn't work. Well, yeah, I mean, he is kind of failing because apparently the plan is to get everyone to trust him, but he kind of zeroed in on Edwin. And that's about it. And he can't get too attached to him, apparently. And that's sort of what's happening until the end of last episode where Monty kissed Edwin and then Edwin was like, what the hell? So we'll see the fallout of that happening, but I don't know. It is what it is. You can definitely see that he might get punished if things don't work. We'll probably see more of it this episode. Um, you could see the secret of my thing going south a mile away. I mean, the whole situation was a red flag. I was just half a librarian. I didn't want to believe it, but <laughs> um, yeah, it, it was kind of there from the beginning. Um, the two dead dragons were some prize winning a holes. <laughs> so, yes, they were. And Edwin needs to work through his feelings for Charles. Yeah, it also. I think we need to. Like, cause I don't think Charles feels the same way. So it's a whole awkward situation there. So I don't know, man, it is what it is. And like I said, you know, this is episode six. Now there's only a couple episodes left. So maybe things will pick up there. Maybe we'll get more of it this episode. I don't know. And, uh, next comment is from Bingley Austin. Bingley Austin, who says, glad to see DBD getting more love and attention. Thank you. You're welcome. 
I love this show. I'm glad I decided to pick it up on a whim, <laughs> really. Uh, I don't regret it one bit. Um, on a technical note, can I ask you to turn up the volume in the clips? Even with all my laptop settings on maximum, the clips are almost audible. I can certainly try. Um, according to DaVinci Resolve, though, if I go any higher, the volume goes into the red, which means it's peaking and it's not going to sound any good at all. Um, and I, I try to stay at that sort of 10 decibel level, which means it's everything's still in the green, but it's still high enough. Um, and even on like OBS, where I record my stuff, I have it at the maximum on the green, same as my audio. My microphone right now is at the green. And if I speak any higher, it goes into the orange, <laughs> which makes it sort of sound a bit worse than it should be. And my desktop audio again is straight on the green. Uh, any higher than that, it's just going to be too loud in my ears to listen to. And so I could try to turn it up maybe the tiniest bit, but again, I don't want to get it too loud for everybody else and have it peaking as well, which is going to make it sound terrible, which is no good for my videos in general. So we'll see what I can do, man. Um, and all I can do is just sort of go from there. We'll do it with this episode, see what happens, see how we go with that and move on from there. But thank you all for the comments. Um, Thank you for letting me know about volume issues and stuff. That's kind of what I look for because to me, it sounds good, <laughs> uh, but it may not be the same for everybody else. So thank you all for the comments. Keep them coming. Uh, as usual, man, just uh, let me know what you'll think of the episode in general. Um, let me know if, and if you, what, uh, what theories you had for that episode, if you remember what they are and go from there and i'll read them out uh next episode but for now this is episode six i believe this one is called the case of the creeping forest so let's get to it this is about david i need to be done with him and get him out of my head for good but you can't be done with him doesn't he still have your memories nah. it's a life i don't remember how do you get rid of him exorcism well. maybe the walrus guy has got something in his shop people what do I need? Maybe um, you need to figure out who you are. This just sounds like you're trying to convince yourself. It's called the light of heart. Sounds nice. The light of the heart. Wasn't a lie that brutally ends in violence. What does it do? It protects you from the repercussions of toxic entanglements. One time use. $100. What the hell? One time I use. I have to pay my rent. I can't be a homeless person with a heart-shaped gem. One day, long, long ago, a terrible storm raged over land and sea. A girl and her father were in peril. The man thought if he sacrificed his daughter, he may be selfish by the great gods. <laughs> Trying to sacrifice his own daughter? Damn. Seeing such cruelty, the Good. great gods forsook the father and took pity on the girl, turning her Sedna. into Sedna, the goddess of the sea. One day, a boat docked to the land. I was drawn curious about humans, of people. but Sedna was all too familiar. It's pretty standard for animals. Humans, <laughs> and she was clear. If I left the sea, I'd never return. But I wanted to know what it was like to live so a different life. So, he was cursed to live as a human? Hmm. And now he hates it, wants to become a walrus again? Heavy. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yes. Very sad. Anyway. Okay. Close your eyes. State what you want two times. I got him out of my body, but he keeps sneaking back in, so... I want to keep this demon the fuck out. Mm. Mm. See, the whole time I thought he was just in her head the whole time. But he just keeps coming in. Did it... Did it work? I don't 
No. I just want to be normal. A broken a heart? Thing or a bad thing. You know, something is it is different. I can't hear the voices. Wait. Nico? She's lost her powers? I think my powers are gone. It's my uh, ghost friend. Gladys. Well, Gladys isn't real. She told me that she was going to the tall forest to uh, stargaze, but she never came back. And unlike Edwin, Gladys doesn't have anyone else. Just me. You know, she was the first ghost I saw after I woke up from my coma. She let me know I wasn't insane. It sounds like that's going to require some old-fashioned Sheila there. Evil seagulls isn't on the board anymore. That's terrible. But sentient pants. What's with that? That's my new favorite. <laughs> Ah, the night nurse. Alive or dead, I assume alive. I don't know who that is. Ah, I was sure you were dead. Don't get many house guests, and again, almost certain you were dead. I must go. I have important work to finish here on the mortal plane. No, time is wasting. Is there a way out of this? Where did he get all this stuff? Huh. You know, I've never tried to leave. Tell me how to get out of this place. It Who is Kashina? It would be for you to die. Again. Wait, are you dead? No, sorry. I'm You're just mortal? a really, really, really old man. Right. You must carefully survey for any evidence Gladys was here. Charles, do you have the stones? Just whisper the name of the spirit you're hunting into the stone. Gladys, yeah. So is Gladys real? It should glow if you get close to anywhere she's been. But I assume no one's gonna Gladys. show up. Crystal, can you read the tree? Nope. You want me to read the tree? <laughs> the stones aren't glowing, then Gladys hasn't been here, right? Can you try? No. Well, I mean, she can cover it up by what she just said, so. I'm just a bear. But your eyes didn't go white. Don't they always go white? Or maybe you missed it. All right. You've been brassed off all day and now you're lying. Mm -hmm. Come on. I'm not brassed off. Maybe you're brassed off. Now, obviously, there's something weird going on with Monty and Edwin. Why are you focusing on me? What is even happening? Don't change the I don't subject. Know. She's getting all defensive. Fine. I lost my abilities. Yeah. They're gone. Okay. Well, that was that, quick. So no, I didn't read the stupid tree. Crystal. Why would you withhold this from us? Mm. Sorry. What happened to, uh, we do not need a psychic. We can do it the good old-fashioned detective way. Firstly, I do not sound <laughs> no. like that. And secondly, I am dealing with my own difficulties at the moment. Oh, please, I'm not going to tell you that I lost my powers so you can leave me to salt at the tongue and tail. Unfair. Oh, he's I unleashed the powder. Value you. Crystal, not for nothing, but I do know a fair bit about haunting. Okay, I love that you want to help, but it's... The hell is that? Sometimes when animals die, they don't know they are dead. They simply roam the woods forever. It's a deer? That's really beautiful. And... And sad. What the fuck? Is that the fungus? There it is. The little biter. Forest elemental. It doesn't look so bad. Nasty bugger. Any ghost that eats is completely obliterated. No afterlife, no reincarnation, just empty dark nothing. Is and that what the witch told Monty? Not to worry. Or I guess not. Is small and easily killed. With the proper weapon. This will make quick work of it. I mean, that was fast. that job officially job some video game level stuff perhaps this elemental is larger than we first thought but we've not got enough purple stuff to get rid of this whole thing if we can find its point of origin we can fill it we simply need to track it and avoid being but if it's in another dimension Maybe how do you uh, right? deal mean, with it that's like the only way we'll be able to cover ground fast enough. Wow, 
Is it every dead teen in a horror movie ever? Yes. The elemental poses little threat to humans. As such, we should pair ourselves up accordingly. One living and one dead for duo. Monty, with me. Tricky move, locking me out of your head. Did you really think that that would keep you safe from me? David. Charles can hear him too. This must be David the demon. Seems like a bit of a coward. Right, show your face. Already beat you once, didn't I? Oh no, I'm so fucking scared. What is going on? So why don't you just leave me the fuck alone? You know, maybe I will. You're useless now. This, this is also a lot of fun. Did you really think that you could beat me Smashing with a Smashing the crystal? Bat? A magic cricket bat? Hmm. Yeah. It's a fucking boomerang. been a very naughty naughty ghost i'm in the middle of a case oh tell me about it i've been in the hunt for you all night in this ridiculous forest hate trees just generally i hate them <laughs> it's getting a stuck who, up one this? i'll tell you who this is this is a very close friend of edwin's <laughs> secret friend you didn't think that you were the only one keeping secrets, did you, Mom? <laughs> so the you cat king knows, huh? Oh, God. The handsome face, the little kiss. Bullshit astrology. Yep. <laughs> He's luring you into a trap. Sorry, I always say the quiet parts out loud. He's luring you into a trap. <laughs> like, I don't want to believe that. Yeah, because he mad. So you're not the witch's pet bird? Boom. No. She didn't turn you into a boy. Sorry to break it to you, Edwin, but your first yeah. kiss was with a crow. Yep. Sorry, Edwin. Saw that. Very awkward. Monty? Cat King's got eyes everywhere, I guess. Edwin, I can explain. Also, there's no Gladys. Sorry. What do you mean there's no Gladys? What is he? I mean, at least the Cat King was helpful. Well, you're just pretending to be my... You didn't tell me that mushroom thing was gonna completely eradicate them, or how gruesome it would be, or how to. Wait, wait, wait. Where are the ghost boys and the little psychic shrew? They know. As yeah. The ghost, that stupid cat king came, and he told Edwin everything. <laughs> so he knows I'm your crow, and he knows this is a trap. Yeah. What's gonna happen to Monty? I have to finish everything myself. I mean, this is why we had a plan, Monty. So I wouldn't be the one traipsing through the goddamn woods. Well, the Monty's dead. Oh, he's just a bird again. Okay. Damn, looks like something out of uh, Zelda. <laughs> Teen face, this is um, uh, <laughs> isn't he cute? Uh uh. Oh man. No digging around in my mind, child. I'll deal with you after dinner. <laughs> Do you like my toothy devil? This is nuts, man. When the ground moves, the ground moves. Ah, the crow and the bird cries. cries. So it's not an earthquake. And look within. Look within. Stop looking without look within. Just gonna get our powers back this way. I didn't think we'd get the prophecy like this early. I thought we'd at least get it like last episode. Like episode eight. Are you hungry? Quite a production. I'm Iris, one of your ancestors. We all okay. ancestors. These are all her all ancestors. Yeah. All healers and and priestess and shaman and artists. So you're. This. Is all in my mind again. Very technically 
try not to think about it too hard. Mm. And you know, I was it's kind of like the Avatar in a way, isn't it? Rid of Fuck it, Sam. God, I hope she gets eaten by the tree. The women in our family are rare, unique, because we can tap into a shared strength. What, is she grabbing the roots? Please hear me for Yeah. <laughs> Dead. Uh, she didn't get eaten, but she's still being dragged down. So I take it she's in another dimension now. I'm sure she'll come back. The Esther Bester gets my vote. Oh, what about Crystal Shroom Persuasion? I like that one. Mm, something more. Different. That's a good one. How about the Crystal Method? The oh, crystal Mother, method. I finally have a move named after me. Thank you. Well, I'm chuffed you got your powers back. Even if that's a band. <laughs> I don't understand it. Fair. It uh, it's gonna take me some time to understand it myself. Charles. Yeah, me. I um find myself. It's very unusual for me to apologize. I know. I'm still gobsmacked at that one, mate. No, not that. Listen. Monty unearthed hmm. some. He has to admit his feelings, huh? It's not as simple as that. I've been realizing that I. Well. Realizing she's back. And let's all go to the app. It was me who kicked you, yeah? Send me wherever. But Edwin, he doesn't belong in hell. He was there on a technicality. He's only there because of a muck up. The afterlife is incapable of a muck up. What's well, in that little book of yours, in it? L P I V fours? What is not supposed to P I V what? A technicality, you say? With hell? Is this something wrong with hell? Looking for you. Never once have I seen an error like this. So what the hell Should happened? What's going on with hell? What does the ring do? Show her the truth? Uh -huh. No, please, no. No, it's coming from hell. It's coming from oh! What the Fuck is there? Well, that was a surprising ending. <laughs> um, Edwin's been taken back to hell because of something wrong down there. Like he was taken to hell on a technicality, but um, yeah, there's something wrong with hell apparently. Um. The night nurse doesn't know what's going on. Uh, what else? Let's see. Monty's now back to being a bird. Teeth face was kind of awesome. Um, again, the way they solve these problems are just comical, in a sense. Because this was a simple, like, oh, okay, bye then. <laughs> you know, it's like... It's like she doesn't control you, you're free to do whatever you want, you're free to go back to your own dimension. He's like, alright, see ya. Um Man. Uh let's see. We know that Crystal has her past lives in her mind scape place, I guess. And that's how she's able to use her abilities. Um Jenny's making nice with Nico. We learned about the walrus guy. Uh, he was curious about the humans. His wish to be 
uh, living another life has, was granted, and he's been living as a human, but now he wants to become a walrus again, but he can't find the washerwoman. And that's it. I love it. I'm sad there's only two episodes left. Hopefully there is a season two. Uh, that's it for this week, guys. As normal, let me know what you thought about this episode in the comment section down below. And if you'll enjoy this reaction, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, join me next time. I'll see you there.